I think that might be a typo. Or just a mistake in the question. Yeah, I, I get what it's saying. It's very complex, but I do get what it's saying. As the sacred tree reached the earth. But you it, don't... No, 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 you, you don't need... English is hard. <laughs> English is hard. Konnichiwa, and welcome back to the only series on YouTube where a fully qualified English teacher fails at answering Japanese university entrance exam questions. And this week we're joined by a very special guest. Hello, it's Charlie again. <laughs> it's Charlie again. Um, you were last on the channel, we just worked it out, we believe in August of last year. Wow, yeah. <laughs> Long time ago, it was before I came back to university, definitely. So. Different hair colour as well. Yeah, <laughs> different hair colour, different hairstyle, different recording place. As yeah. well, we're in our new flat together. Mm -hmm. um, but you are back for a very special video on Tokyo University, finding the errors in a long paragraph of text. The last one was so hard. Alright, so, among the various elements of the natural world which in fantasy fiction becomes invested with mysterious powers. So looking at A, the underlined bit. Okay. I can't see the problem there. In a longer sentence, I would perhaps change become to became. That's not underlined. Mm. Well, I can't see the problem here. <laughs> well, I think I have it, but I need to double check. Among the various elements of the natural world, which in fantasy fiction becomes invested with mysterious powers. But it's just that it has become, not becomes. Oh yeah. Uh, I think that might be a typo or just a mistake in the question. Work. I just feel like it would be became, but I, I already know that's not. I think it should be becomes. Oh no! Natural world. We're off to a brilliant start. We're, yeah, <laughs> fantastic start. This is what I mean when I say fails at answering. Um, various elements of the natural. Because what I think it should be is uh, among the various elements of the natural world in which fantasy fiction. But then it would need to be becomes, and that's definitely just become. No, I think it would work that way as well. Which in? I think you're right. I think it's in which. The natural world in which fantasy fiction becomes... Become invested. I would still say becomes. Is that a British English thing then? Maybe it's an American. If it's an American English thing, that's why we're going wrong. Ted, you're going to have to cut so much chatting out of this. I'm so or sorry. don't. <laughs> just make it an extra long video. Oh no. <laughs> that's my guess, but it is not an educated guess. That's... Mine really is an educated difficult. guess. Oh, you're a teacher. Exactly. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> I think... Maybe it is an Americanism. That's like, take the S off of becomes, or don't put the S on become. Mm -hmm. But I would say, uh, among the various elements of the natural world in which fantasy fiction becomes invested with mysterious powers, that's question number one, trees and forests particularly often undergo changes which elevate them from the domain of the natural into that of the supernatural. Okay. I see nothing wrong with that sentence. No, I don't at first glance either. This goes to show how difficult these questions are! <laughs> I assume there can be no error. Because we Can there? Well, I believe so. Because most of them can have no error. So I'm going to assume. I'm going to say there's no error. I'm going to read it again just to make sure. Trees and forests particularly, particularly often undergo changes which elevate the... Yeah, no, I think that's fine. Okay. I don't think there's an error there. Uh, consequently, their appearance in fantastic stories, lively characters and magical woodlands, mm. strengthens the charming and exotic appeal of the story. Consequently, their appearance in fantastic stories... Lively, lively characters. Fantastic stories, lively characters... Well, I know the problem here, but I don't know what's trying to say. No, I don't know what it's trying to say. In fantastic... So, consequently, their appearance... Oh, commas. I'd say yeah. their appearance in fantastic stories, Comma. lively characters, yeah. and magical... I think it's trying to list. I think you're right, though. <laughs> I think you're right. It's something you need to put commas in between. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, it's very difficult to understand. Yeah, you need to you need to separate each item mm -hmm. in a list by a comma. Otherwise, it becomes the same item. So if I said I want to go to the shop and get some wheat bread and eggs, <laughs> am I saying wheat comma bread and eggs, or am I saying wheat bread and eggs? You need to separate it yeah. with a comma. <laughs> so I think that's the only error yes. is in fantastic stories. Lively characters. Their appearance in fantastic stories. Lively characters and magical wooden strengthens. The charming and exotic appeal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you need you need the comma. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, next one. Mm -hmm. Yet it is a misunderstanding to perceive the trees and forests of fantasy as hardly anything else than amusing. 
but otherwise insignificant. I- insignificant character. Insignificant. That's it. Oh, that's my laptop telling me that it's gonna die. That's fine. Ah! And now it's open <laughs> Skype. I don't want to open Skype. Okay. We'll see how long it takes before it dies. Everything's going wrong. Technical difficulties. Yet it is a misunderstanding to perceive the trees and forests as a fantasy as hardly anything else than amusing but otherwise insignificant characters. What? <laughs> yeah, I, I get what it's saying. It's very complex, but I do get what it's saying. Hardly anything else than amusing. As strange. Yeah. As a sentence. Okay. I. What would you say instead? Just as to perceive it as anything else than. Music? Yeah, I don't think you need the hardly there. Yeah. It doesn't come across like a uh, natural speech. Yeah. Almost not makes sense. Yes. Um, as hardly anything else as... Would you say as anything else other than amazing but otherwise insignificant characters? Would you put an other between else and than? As anything else amazing? Yeah, no, I would. Yeah, I would yes. say, so, I think the, the second part, E, is correct, but otherwise insignificant yeah. characters, that yeah. makes sense. But D, I think you need to say, as anything else other than amusing, etc, etc. Okay, question number 22. Various myths from across the world include sacred trees which serve as a link between humankind and the divine. That reads absolutely fine to me. Yep. Is there any errors there? That reads watch fine Watch this to me. be one where there is meant to be an error in every single one. And... Or, <laughs> watch it be one where there's only meant to be one error in each question. <laughs> and yeah. we've managed to spot errors two in the first one? I think so. No, three in the first one. Ooh. Anyway. Yeah, uh, 22A is fine. In other words, the tree was often associated with a particular god, or together with a sacred stone, it formed a place of worship, which was called a microcosm. Because, oh, that's like, uh, BTS. (laughs) Microcosmic. Anyway, uh, because its structure reflected the nature of the cosmos. Again, that that reads fine to me. Yeah, we do. I think that's okay. Maybe there's only meant to be one error in each one, and we found three in the first. Anyway. (laughs) As the sacred upside-down tree, whose roots were in the sky and branches reached the earth, was functioned also as a representation of the universe. There's an error here. That doesn't read right at all. It was functioned. You don't need the also... Functioned? I don't... Is that the error? No, I don't think it's functioned. As the, I'm going to read it again. As the sacred upside-down tree, whose roots were in the sky and branches reached the earth, was functioned also as a representation of the universe. Okay. Yeah, I think I've got it. I don't. I think you need to just remove was and also. So I'd say, as the sacred upside down tree, whose roots were in the sky and branches reached the earth. Oh, there's an it here. It functioned. As a representation of the universe. But then the it makes that complicated. So, uh, oh, okay. As the sacred of said, the it at the end makes it so confusing. <laughs> I'm so not sure whose roots were in the sky and branches reached the earth. Because having it after saying as at the start of the sentence. Because if you say oh, as, that doesn't make sense. No, does it? it does. As the sacred upside down tree, whose roots in the sky and branches reached the earth, mm-hmm. it functioned as a representation of the universe. I think that makes sense. I'm also not the teacher here, it's just one of my. Spoken languages. <laughs> so don't take my word on it. But you don't need it. The it is what's confusing me here. Because you say as the say because imagine you don't have the middle sen- uh, the middle clause, right? So as the sacred upside down tree. Sense. As the sacred tree reached the earth. But you it, don't No no no, no you, you don't need between the two commas you you can just remove. There's two commas? Yeah, you've got one here at the end of tree, and one here at the end of earth. So if you take out oh. all of this, you need it to still make sense because of the structure. So, as the sacred upside down tree, it. As the sacred upside down tree, it. it. Also functioned. No. It doesn't make sense. Uh, the it is a problem it here. It functioned as a representation of the universe. As the sacred upside down tree, no. it functioned as... This is very... I am so confused. 
How do I make this make sense? I might have to skip on this one, I don't think I can work it. If you take away it, <laughs> for, uh, theoretically, if you take I mean, away it... That's not underlined, that's cheating! I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> as the sacred upside down tree, whose roots were in the sky and branches reached the earth, also functioned as... A, no, because then you have uh, the as is the problem at that point. Um, English is hard. <laughs> English is hard. Yeah. So sorry. Uh, okay. Moreover, the location of the tree was often perceived as the ultimate centre of reality, and the tree itself became a link between heaven and earth, like the avatar. <laughs> because of its cycle of shedding and regrowing leaves, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Yeah, I think that's correct. Yeah. Um, many, many go. On. Many cultures regarded the tree as a symbol of life, and numerous myths insisted that human life was connected to, or in fact, originated from trees and other plants. That makes Sounds sense good. to me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the the one that's wrong here is C. Yes. I honestly can't fix it. Yeah. I have no idea. 